What's good? It's your boy Fanon. All right, man. I got a. <laughs> I'm trying to let people know this, man, but people keep going with this story, so I thought I'd make a video. There was a report that came out on Boxing Scene, and actually, the report was copied off of a website called SportsArena.com, which said that Vladimir Klitschko had been offered a hundred and twenty million dollars. Uh, return for the zone and that he would be fighting on May 25th. That is a April Fool's joke. Okay. <laughs> this, if you can, you can check it on the site that it came from sportsarena.com. And you can also check it on the headline of the, basically the retraction that was put up by the boxing scene. So I think people need to just pump the brakes because when I heard this, I was like, man, that sounds absolutely crazy. But as it turns out, you know, on April 1st, man, don't just take whatever you hear in the news. Wait till like April 2nd or April 3rd before you roll with it, because there's going to be a lot of stuff out here that are just practical jokes. So anyway, that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. I'm also going to talk about the heavyweight division. I'm going to talk about Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder and, and the guys that more than likely really are going to fight. Now, before I do that, though, I want to welcome you back to the channel, subscribers. If you are not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and you will be subscribed, and you will get notified of when we release more videos. Also, check out the live streams that we do every Monday through Friday, start time, usually between 10.30 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. Central Standard Time, and also Sundays. Uh, at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time for OG Boxing Talk, where old school, old heads get together and chop up, uh, chop it up on boxing. Also, check out the Patreon. So let me go through these reports um, that were originally made. And this is a Russian website, so it's kind of tough for you to, um, you know, to, to read it straight out because it translates it and it doesn't translate, you know, cleanly. But it said, according to Sports Arena, this is the original report. The DAZN streaming platform during the final round of three months talks convinced Vladimir Klitschko to return to the ring. The Ukrainian will hold three fights that will, will earn him $120 million. The previous offer had been increased by $40 million and each fight our boxing legend will receive a fee of a billion, whatever the dollar amount, whatever that dollar is, Ukrainian dollar. Uh, note that in the final version of the contract are not spelled out the name of the rivals, only the interpretation, the most significant battles that will be most attractive in terms of demand in the market. OK, after that, though, you get a retraction that comes and it says that. Let me I'm taking a second to get back because I'm trying to read them straight out. It says it would basically today it retracts it and it says Ukrainian sports world was shocked about the news about the return of Vlad Vladimir Klitschko to the ring. The Ukrainian world champion allegedly had a fight on May 25th at the Olympic in Kiev. Perhaps Vladimir will return to the ring, uh, but what he's thinking about so far, but the date and place of the battle is now just a joke of sports arena. So, like I said, this is a translation of Russian, and it said that he may be deciding to come back, but the date and the venue, the announcement, all that stuff is was just a joke, an April Fool's joke. Also, if you go to the report where it was reported in boxing scene, it says the title is Report Vladimir Klitschko to Return 225 on the Zone Faux TBA. And it says Sports Arena has since confirmed that Klitschko's return is an April Fool's joke. And that is at the head of the article that was written where Vladimir couldn't resent the temptation. You know, the Ukrainian website reported Monday that the 43 year old champion was making a commitment to come back next uh, next month for one hundred twenty million dollars. So that's not happening. OK, at least based on the report of the people that originally cited it. That's sportsarena.com. Both the original article is on sportsarena.com and the retraction is on sportsarena.com. So, look, it's April 1st. Any type of news you hear on April 1st, it's time to hold off <laughs> because it's April Fool's Day. All right. And 
To offer $120 million for three fights for a guy that is 43 years old sounds like an April Fool's joke because Vladimir Klitschko's only had one fight. He's had one fight in the last four years. Okay, and he hasn't won a fight since since Brian Jennings back four year over four years ago. I think it is time for if Vladimir Klitschko was going to make a return, I would think that he would have already made that return. Vladimir Klitschko needs to stay retired, even more than the other guys that we talk about in boxing. You need to stay retired, like like Floyd Mayweather Jr. or Manny Pacquiao or an Andre Ward and these guys. Vitaly Klitschko has no business being back in the boxing ring, especially against guys that are now being a lot. They're a lot younger than Vladimir Klitschko, Klitschko is. They're also a lot more. They've been a lot more active than Vladimir Klitschko. And Vladimir Klitschko just, man, the dude just came off of a, well, not just. That was back in May of 2017, right? So that would have been a two-year layoff from the la- from that fight. And two years before that is when he fought Klitschko, Right? That's just not a realistic thing to expect Vladimir Klitschko to do. When I heard it, I was like, wow, I certainly hope that's not true. Why would he do that? $120 million, especially if you don't even know who he's going to fight. That seems like DAZN. Now, I don't doubt that DAZN isn't going to try to get him to come out of retirement because who does DAZN really have to fight to fight Anthony Joshua? I do believe that the negotiations are a real thing. And that DAZN is going to try to get Vladimir Klitschko out there to be a to get a rematch against uh, Anthony Joshua, because if you recall back in 2017, there was a large uh, holdup after that fight where Eddie Hearn was really trying to get the rematch against Vladimir Klitschko. So to get Anthony Joshua and Vladimir Klitschko rematch, that would be right up those guys' alley. It would be a fight that Anthony Joshua would win. Um, it would be another way, you know, it's obviously a very big name, but it would be similar to this what's going on with, I guess, I mean, I don't want to compare Vladimir Vladimir Klitschko to, uh, to Marcos Maidana, but, you know, uh, only because obviously Vladimir Klitschko at his peak was, you know, one of the better heavyweights, uh, one of the better heavyweights of my lifetime. You know, I don't know where I would rate him necessarily. I think his brother Vitaly was better than him. And I think that Lennox Lewis was better than him, but definitely, you know, in my lifetime, a top 10 heavyweight in my lifetime. Um, so, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to just go out of my way and try to compare him to Marcus Maidana, but Marcus Maidana's comeback is just, I mean, he's going to come back out for a payday more than likely he's going to get bruised up and get beat, but he'll be a good name on somebody's resume. Um, I think that that is pretty much the, you know, the same situation. I don't see Vladimir Klitschko coming out of retirement to beat, to try to fight, definitely not to beat Deontay Wilder. He just went through, in the personal life of Vladimir Klitschko, he just went through a divorce and he just got custody of his young ch- of a of his young child from, I think it was Hayden Parletti. I can't remember how do you pronounce his ex-wife or his ex-fiance's name, but you know, he's got a young girl, he's got a young child at home with him that he's taking care of because he was the more solid the more responsible responsible of the two parents you know and i doubt very much that 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 he's a guy that is in a lot of monetary need for fights because he got what 15 13 15 million dollars in his last fight again against anthony joshua that's a big that's a nice payday if he's the type of guy that's going to take care of his money so you know i just don't see that happening and even if it did happen and say it does happen going forward right if it does go on, go, uh, go on happening forward, if it does go, if it does happen going forward, you know, man, I just, I just don't want to see that, man. Samuel Peters also, you know, Samuel Peters making a return. Samuel Peter never got that big fifteen million dollar payday, and I feel like even Sam Peter, I think he went by Samuel Peter went by the Nigerian Nightmare, had a couple fights with the Klitschko's. Um. Put some real hurting on Vladimir Klitschko, knocked him down several times, but eventually I do believe he got knocked. He might have got knocked out by Klitschko, but every time he laid a glove on Klitschko, man, Klitschko went down. And that's Samuel Peter, man. There is no doubt in my mind that that guy like Deontay Wilder is going to catch Vladimir Klitschko, especially an older, slower Vladimir Klitschko. That's going to wind up being a, you know, that's going to be a big knockout, man. Same thing for Anthony Joshua, even a Louis, even Luis Ortiz, man. 
or Luis, not, I don't want to say even, Luis Ortiz, even. So anyway, it is what it is. It was a from the reports on the wedding, the website that originally let it out. It was a practical joke. And with that, I'm out. <laughs>